we are ready to, to know who will be the first overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48. Making the first selection in this draft, the Terra Firma G. For the first, for the first overall pick, uh, Terra Firma selects Stephen Holt. With the first overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48, the Terra Firma Jeep selects Stephen Holt. So the 31 year old Stephen Holt, a rookie veteran. Ang pagkaka describe sa kanya, he's played all over the world already, Coach Charles and Coach Topex. And right now, he will be front and center, and he will be trying to change the culture at Terra Firma G. Well, legit NCAA player for St. Mary's. You know, I've been trying to keep a tabs on him throughout the years, and he's played in some high-level leagues, as you've said. So, yeah, for sure, you expect him to make an impact right away, and I think it's a great pick and arguably the most talented player in this draft. Yeah, Stephen Hall, sinabi mo kanina, magu rookie veteran. So what he could bring really on the table is really something that Terra Firma G needed at this very moment sa ating team. And uh, Stephen Holt is not in the venue as of the moment for, from our understanding. He's in Portland, Oregon, and he's joining us right now live via Zoom. Good day to you, Stephen. And uh, I know you played all over the world already, but you were telling everybody that this is a dream for you. This is something that you promised your grandfather that you will someday play in the PBA. You're the top overall pick, you're the top dog. Is it everything you imagine it to be right now? Yeah, I appreciate you guys for having me. Um, definitely is one of my goals in my career to, you know, play in the PBA. Um, you know, I started out my career, you know, trying to pursue my NBA dreams and, um, you know, it fell a little bit short, but then I was able to have, you know, a long career in Europe and, and playing some high level leagues. So um, the opportunity uh, came about in June for me to get my Philippine passport and um, talk with my agent. It was kind of, you know, like a no brainer for me to take advantage of that and make the jump over to the PBA. So I had to fully commit, um, turn down, you know, a bunch of European offers this summer and really just wanted to, you know, commit to the PBA um, for this upcoming year. So I'm very excited. Stephen, congratulations again. Uh, just want to know, or maybe you can share for the fans who maybe haven't seen you play yet. What can they expect from you? What can, what will your game bring to the table for your team? Oh uh, yeah, I mean I'm I'm a two-way player, and you know, I'm committed on both ends of the floor, defensively and offensively. Um, I'm known for being a shooter. Um, I'm pretty athletic, can rebound and and get to the basket. So um, I'm definitely going to try and you know make an impact positively on and off the floor and. Um, hopefully we can, can have a good season. Thank you so much, uh, Stephen, and we all look forward to see you come November 5th. Yep, sounds good. And that is your top overall pick for season 48, Stephen Holt from his home in Portland, Oregon. For the number two pick, let's send it back over to the stage with Judd Sully. For the second overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft season 48, it will be the Blackwater Bossing selecting. For the second overall pick of the PBA draft, the Blackwater Bossing selects Christian David. Second overall pick of this draft, Christian David! Coach Jeff Cariasa looking to rebuild this Blackwater Bossing squad going with the bit. Well, you know, I got the chance to speak to assistant coach Joe Silva and they said uh, Christian David really impressed in their workouts. You know, they said he looked very healthy and I think that was maybe the biggest question, you know, coming off some knee injuries. But for sure, anytime you can get size and talent, I mean, it's maybe a no-brainer and he has both of those. Yeah, Coach Jeff Cariasso did his research, you know, finding somebody who's really going to be a game changer uh, for the Blackwater bossing and now you have it, Christian David being picked by Blackwater. You see his vital stats right there at only 25 years old, stands six foot six, 215 from Butler. He should have an immediate impact for Coach Jeff. Well, you know, Coach Topex mentioned he's coming from a great program, so that's a good checklist for a lot of the coaches. You know, when you know the guys well, Coach makes, your, makes it a little bit easier to take a chance on him and hoping that he can 
mesh or blend in your system. But again, you know, he has a lot of physical tools, a lot of attributes. That's why he was prior, I mean, selected previously also to be an import in Korea. But again, as fate has it, he will end up playing for the Philippines. And I'm sure the PBA will love having him here. I'm sure Blackwater will love having him on their team. And for our first nationwide up-close chat with Christian David, he's be going to be joining Miss Bayes there. Thank you so much, Magu. I am with a second overall pick, Christian David. First of all, congratulations, Christian. For those fans, the PBA fans, what can they expect from you as you enter your professional career here in the PBA? Um, I'm a two-way player. Uh, I like to play defense. Um, I'm versatile on offense. Uh, I'm a natural shooter and a playmaker, so I'm, I'm excited to join this team and do my best. Christian, I'm sure you have a lot of people to thank. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, I want to thank my mom. She's here. Uh, my uh, relatives up there, um, they've been supporting me uh, through this whole trip. And uh, everyone back home that stayed up to watch us, thank you guys. Thank you so much. That was Christian David of the second overall pick. Now let's turn it over to Hans. Thank you so much, Bay. I am with the mother of Christian David, Miss Tess. Miss Tess, we have 124 applicants. Christian David is now the number two overall pick. How does that mean to you? How important is it for you as a mom? Yeah. Um, it is very important, um, not only to me as a mom, but uh, uh, for the whole family. Because um, Christian's dream since um, he was uh, five years old was to play professional basketball and um, yeah and we are grateful that um, he is able he will be able to play for the Philippines our home native land right any quick messages for Christian I think he's over there yeah uh, Chris um, we are so happy and um, grateful for uh, your achievement this is just the beginning um, of your dream so um, I, I hope and pray that um, you will be a good uh, addition to the Blackwater team and you do your best to get the win. All right, there you go. Now we turn it over to Judd. Thank you, Hans. Well, you know, right now it's not only individual dreams that are coming through, but family dreams as well. With that said, we're ready to announce the third overall pick of this draft. For that, we turn it over to Rain or Shine. Rain or Shine with the third overall pick selects Luis Villegas. Six foot seven Luis Villegas of the University of the East is now headed to the Rain or Shine Elasto Painters on the front end of back-to-back first-round picks for them. Well, Luis Villegas in his one year playing for UE was really impressive. You know, he's a big forward, so talented, so skilled, and I think he will fit into what Coach Yang wants to, you know, the way Coach Yang likes to play. Look at his numbers, were great numbers, 13 points, 8 rebounds, almost 4 assists, 2 steals, so all-around player, 2 plus, you know, mythical 5 me member in the UAP, and says a lot about uh, Luis talking about versatility talking about Luis Villegas Magu because again we know what he could really bring in the table he has a lot of energy I definitely am a big fan of this basketball player that's why I'm excited that he ended up with the team of coach Yang Giao and napakalaking bagay no na kay coach Yang Giao pa siya napunta you're a veteran you played under coach Yang for all the time what does it really bring? What are you pagkakaiba pag kay Coach Yang ka? Obviously, you're gonna get the opportunity. You know, with that opportunity, dun nga hindi depende yung itatagal mo uh, dito sa PBA. And talking about Villegas, Magu, we know that he's coming from an injury. So, eto yung player that I'm sure is, we, we, we could call an investment for rain or shine. So, yun yung isang bagay that uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, the coaching staff of Ray Norshan has popped that out why to pick a Luis Villegas. You, you know, another thing he brings to Ray Norshan now, nadidinig mo. Yung ovation sa kakapili dito kay Villegas. And the fans all the way up on the third floor making noise for Luis right now as he is going to be joining Miss Bea. Tama ka dyan. 
Grab it. Luis, first of all, congratulations. From the third floor, we can hear a lot of cheers from friends and family. To whom do you dedicate this achievement to, especially going into the PBA? Uh, definitely my family. You know, my family back home, uh, my family up there, my UE boys, uh, my 3x3 TNT family. I'm just super grateful for uh, the journey, and I'm grateful that it came down to this. All right, now let's turn it over to Hans. Thank you so much, Bea. I am with the mom of Luis Villegas. Actually, I've been hearing a lot of fans upstairs here at the Market Market. I'm with Miss Maria Villegas. I'm sure you're so proud of Luis. But what is it about him that made him reach this far and have this great basketball career? Yes, of course. Luis is a real hard worker. He's a dedicated team player and he's all about the team. He's about helping the team on and off the court. Right, so any messages to Luis? He's, he's just there. I love you, Luis. You did it. Congratulations. We love you. There you have it. Now we turn it over to John. Definitely a great moment for the Villegas family. And kung nakikita niya pa, Rainer Shine still up on the stage because they will also be making the fourth overall pick. Rainer, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Raynor Shine select Robert Keith Datu Jr. Keith Datu! The fourth overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48. They say hi to Smite. Well, Rain or Shine just stop themselves. Twin Towers in Villegas and Datu. Hey, DJ, it's not just all about the height with this guy. His young skill set na dinadala niya is on a different level, Coach Tobias. I think one of the factors why uh, Rain or Shine selected Keith Dato is because he's a big guy that could really shoot well from the outside. So looking at the lineup of Coach Yang, he loves big guys that could shoot outside because he wants to spread the basketball and he wants to give those confidence to those young players like Keith Dato. No, I think he'd be a great complementary piece to guys like Big Bo Belga. I mean, there are other big men. And at least now Coach Yang has two younger big men who can play both forward spots. Keith can probably play center too. But now as we talked about him earlier when we were showing his profile, I mean, he's definitely a talent. He's skilled. And at the end, they, those are the type of guys that Coach Yang really likes. You know, guys who can score and uh, Keith Datu can score. So, ibig mo sabihin, matanda na si Bo, kaya pinapalitan na, gano'n? Hindi pa naman. <laughs> <laughs> Keith Dato Jr., he will have his opportunity, as you've been mentioning, Coach Topex. And from based from what we've seen, in what he did, doon sa entablado naman ng PBA 3x3, it should be nothing but positive pagdating naman sa actual 5-on-5, five five, and KDJ is with Ms. Bea. Yes, congratulations, Keith. You know, a familiar name to the 3x3 tournament, but now you are drafted here in the PBA. How does it feel and how excited are you to go against all the other PBA players? Uh, I'm extremely excited. Um, I've, wait, I've been waiting for this moment. Um, all glory to God, thanks to God, and I'm very proud to be here. All right, now I'm sure you have a lot of people to thank, so please go ahead. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God, my Lord and Savior. I'd like to thank the Altamirano family. Um, for all their hospitality. Thank you for my girlfriend who flew here from California And thank you for all my family back home who's been supporting me. All right. Thank you so much Keith Congratulations. Now let's turn it over to Judge Thank you, Bea. Well, Keith, you've been waiting for this moment Pero pati yung mga PBA fans, matagal ka nang hinihintay Very excited to see you on the PBA stage Ngayon naman po, punta na tayo sa fifth overall pick And making this selection will be the Northport Batam Pier Uh, Northport picks uh, Xavier Lucero. With a fifth overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48, the Northport Batang Pierre selects Xavier Lucero. Xavier Lucero, <coughs> nangalampag 
sa UAAP with what he did with what he and his team the sa Universidad ng Pilipinas did in finally capturing that crown after 36 years. He's really been a solid contributor for UP during his UAAP stint and we are excited to finally have Xavier Lucero here in the PBA. I love his energy, love his work ethic on the floor. He really a legit big rebound spell, does everything and he's, he's a winner. I mean, as shown by the championship that he helped his college team win. And you know another thing that I'm happy about? Another Bay Area guy is going to be making it to the PBA. Joining us from Vallejo, California, is Xavier uh, Lucero right now. If we can get him on the line. Xavier, what is going through your mind? You are the fifth overall pick of the 48th draft of the PBA. Uh, yeah, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm really happy to uh, hear my name called. Uh, and I'm just, I'm ready to get healthy and then you know, show everything I need to show on the court. So um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Yes, Xavier, I'm really excited and congratulations. I know uh, Coach Chris Gopez is going to be excited about hearing your name out. And Xavier, we know that you're coming from an injury. We know you're excited to go, to go back here and really represent. And how does it feel right now that you're finally gotten over that hump? And what can you really bring uh, to this team? Uh, I think for me, I'm going to bring a lot of what you guys have seen for the past two seasons, but I'm hoping to uh, show a lot more. Um, I got a lot in my game that, that has yet to be seen in the Philippines, so hopefully once I get out there, I'll be 100% and, and I'll be uh, ready to, to turn some heads once again. How far along are you in terms of your recovery right now, Zeeer? I'm close. Um, I'm well over halfway and I'm, I'm ahead of schedule according to my PT. So. Um, I'm hoping to be out there soon, sooner rather than later, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be able to put the Northport jersey on and get to work. I know Coach Bonnie will be sending over a giant spoon and fork for your wall back there uh, to make it a real Filipino home, but you got, I bet you got a bunch of people to thank before you make your debut in the PBA. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I got to give the glory to God first and then um, right after them is all my family and friends. I got a lot of them with me around here right now. And um, uh, I think uh, the PBA for giving me the opportunity for sure in Northport and um, just anyone that's been with me uh, uh, at any part of my journey. So big thanks to anyone that's that's helped me along the way. We look and uh, Phil and Nation Select, big shout out to them. Congratulations once again, and we look forward to when you get back and be healthy enough to perform on the PBA stage. That's Xavier Lucero, your fifth overall pick para sa Northport, Batang Pierre. We move on to number six. Let's send it back over to the stage with Justin Sulit. Thanks, Magu. Para sa sixth overall pick ng draft na ito, puntahan naman natin ang Phoenix Super LPG. With the sixth pick, the Phoenix Super LPG Fuel Masters select Kenneth James Diocares Tuffin. Ken Tuffin is the sixth overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48. He goes to the Phoenix Super LPG Fuel Masters. Ken Tuffin, arguably, or a lot of people say, hands down, the best shooter in this draft class. He's going to be joining a Phoenix squad, uh, Team Phoenix. Yeah, Coach Jamaik is finally happy with the, his wish list. Ito yung uh, unang-unang pinipili niya. Why? Because Ken Tuffin is really uh, a nugget. Kumbaga yung experience niya playing for Far Eastern University and when he played overseas and now he's going to bring it here in the PBA and for Phoenix. And I'm so happy uh, for Ken being representing Phoenix. I'm a big fan of his game. I got to watch him play under Coach Olsen for FU back then. Always been a solid wing, uh, very versatile, can defend multiple positions. And yes, uh, he can really shoot. And obviously, as you pointed out earlier, he was the three-point king in that draft combine. And I think the experience playing in the NBL in New Zealand will only help him even more and will make him adjust right away and be able to contribute right away to a Phoenix team. A lucky bagay, no, no, no. At only 26, he's already got three years of professional basketball experience under his belt in New Zealand. Pa, and he's going to bring that act to the PBA. That's going to be a solid contribution, sabi nga natin. Eh, imagine you have... Uh, 
You have Tyler Teo. You have uh, Jason Perkins. And you're going to have now Ken Tuffin. What more could you ask for if you're Coach Jamaica Karin and the Phoenix Field Masters? And we look forward to Ken joining with Phoenix. But right now, he's standing by with Bea. Ken, congratulations. You are now with Phoenix. What can we expect from Ken Tuffin coming into the PBA that you can bring to the table for Phoenix? Um, definitely my shooting, for sure. Uh, All-around defense as well, and just whatever the team needs me to do, I'll be ready to play that role. I'm sure you have a lot of people to thank, so please do it. go ahead. Um, obviously my family that are here today, both my parents, mom and dad, uh, my fiance Anya, and the Pablo family as well. Um, obviously, FEU, my time in New Zealand with the Wellington Saints. Um, thank you to everyone that's helped me on this journey, and I'm looking forward to what's next. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Now let's turn it over to Hans, who is with some of the relatives of Kenneth Tuffin. You are right, Bay. I am with the parents and the fiancé of Ken Tuffin. I am with Mrs. Nelly, Mr. Philip, and with Anya. So to the parents first, how important is this achievement for you guys as parents of Ken? Oh, very important. It's been his long-time dream, and he's built so hard, and he's done a lot of sacrifices to get this far, and he's here. Yeah, very proud of him. Very proud of him. Definitely very proud. What about you, Anya? How have you been a support system for Kenneth, having been in a relationship with him for three years now? Um, I've been with him since he started playing in the NZNBL, and I've been watching all of his games, most of his games, and I've been um, with him through good games and bad, so if he wants to talk about bad games, I'm there to listen and give him some um, feedback on how I thought he played. So. There you have it. Thank you so much. Now we turn it over to Judd. Thank you, Hans. Now we move on with the seventh overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48. Making this pick will be the NLEX Road Warriors. The NLEX Road Warriors select Richie Roger. Richie Roger goes to the NLEX Road Warriors as the seventh overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48. The other New Zealander landing now with NLEX back-to-back -back picks. Guys from Phil New Zealanders, or Phil Kiwis, making it to the PBA. This guy played for the Tall Blacks, actually. Well, you know, Kiwis are usually tough, man. And, uh... He's a tough kid, and I saw him play and when he was still in UE then. You know, all around, guard, forward, you know, can play multiple positions. So it's a good pick, and he has size uh, at 6'2 for a guard. Actually, it's, it fits uh, Coach Frankie Lim's system, which is he wants to really play uh, hard no defense. He wants to pressure, and having Richard Roger for definitely will help uh, their bid in this coming conference. This is going to be huge para dito sa NLEX Road Warriors. Coach Frankie looking for that backcourt help. He's got a gem of a first round pick. Oh, for sure. Rogers can play. I mean, he was recruited by UE to come in here. And, you know, even when he was serving his residency then, at that time, you were able to see him play in tune-up games. And, you know, uh, he can play. That's, that's all I can say. I mean, so it's, I think it's a good pick for Coach Frank. And obviously, he impressed them enough in their workouts for sure to take a chance at him and draft him right now. Six foot two, 211, place. Both guard positions, and he is now with Bea. Richie, congratulations. You are now with NLEX. Could you just let us know, for all the PBA fans, what can we expect for you to bring to the table for the Road Warriors? Uh, I'm just going to come in with a team first mentality and just do whatever the coach wants me to do. I'm sure you have a lot of people to thank and to greet, so please do go ahead. I just want to thank my family here in the Philippines for all their support and all my friends and family back in New Zealand as well. So thank you. Thank you so much and congratulations, Richie. Now let's turn it over to Judd. Thank you, Bea. Now we move on with the first pick that will be selected by Meralco. And this will be the eighth pick of the first round of this draft. Let's turn it over to the Bolts. For the eighth pick, the Meralco Bolts select Brandon Matthew Bates. Eighth overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48 is Brandon Bates. Keeping it on the land down under, Brandon Bates, who once played for De La Salle. 
is now going to be part of the PBA. The Miracle Bolts going for size here, guys. Yeah, it was a smart pick coming from the Miracle Bolts. Obviously, it's somebody, they're looking for somebody who's going to replace Reynel Hugnatan. So, isa yun sa mga ceiling that they could really have, you know, uh, supporting Raymond Almasan in this lineup. No, I, I like this pick because, again, he's another big man. It's so hard to find legit big man. He has size. He's a good defender, good rebounder. That's always been a priority of that Miralco Bolts team. And, you know, coming from Australia, from New Zealand, that region, you know, their consultant, Coach Nenad, is there. So I'm sure there's some connection in the way they want to play. And I think uh, he'd be a good fit to their team and gives them much more size and ceiling. How about the toughness that he showed or maybe even developed on the PBA 3x3 stage? Will that come to fruition here? We talked about the physicality of the 3x3 and I'm sure that's one of the things that Coach Luigi is really looking for. The energy, the hustle. You know, somebody who's really going to keep the ball alive, going for those rebounds and really having that energy defensively also. No, I, I, I agree. You know, he's one guy he showed in his college career that he could be a rim protector. I mean, if there's not too many of them in the PBA, he rebounds well. He's obviously improved in his offensive game playing the 3x3 and in the years that he left the country for a while. So, you know, he's coming back as a different player for sure. Speaking of coming back, Miss Bay is back with us. He's going to be talking, talking with Brandon Bates. All right, Brandon, congratulations. Now, you played for the LSU. You went back to Australia and played there. What made you decide to come on down here again, once again to Manila, and to achieve this dream of yours to be in the PBA? Um, I think I'm young enough. I've got a good opportunity, so why not take it? You know, take it and give it my all. Looking forward to it. Yeah. What can we all expect from Brandon Bates as he enters the PBA? Uh, I think we can, what you can expect from me right now is to go to the bathroom because I'm that excited and I've got all the nerves, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> all right, congratulations to you, Brandon. Now let's turn it over to Judd. Salamat, Bea. Eight picks in. In the first round, we have four more to go. Sa unang round ng ating PBA Gatorade Draft, Season 48, picks number 9 and 10 belong to the Converge Fiber Xers. Let's turn it over to them for pick number 9. For the ninth pick of the first round, uh, Converge Fiber Xers select Deshaun Winston. Shawnee Winston, previously of the De La Salle Green Archers, he goes to the Converge Fiber Xers as the ninth overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48. The Fiber Xers getting their hands on a 25-year-old six foot four playmaker, Coach Charles. You know, Coach Aldin Ayo has is known to do wonders with guards, and this guy's another guard we can use as a point guard, as a shooting guard, maybe even play small forward. He's a guy who can pressure. We saw him play some defense to a Dela Sal, but more importantly, he can score. I mean, look, it's not easy to score 20 points in the college leagues here, and Shawnee was able to do that. So he's a talent for sure. I'm sure Converge will be happy with this draft pick. Yeah, I mean, Nitong Converse is really loading up, just like what you mentioned earlier, Magu. Uh, they really are expecting uh, to really load up their talent dito sa ating uh, PBA draft. That's why having Shani Winston will really uh, help build itong, uh, uh, itong uh, Fiber Xers. How about the speed that the Fiber Xers play with? Bagay na bagay ba? Oh, grabe. You know how they pressure. They, they're one of the teams that really pressure hard, full court. And, you know, you have a guy like this who can play that way too. And... What I like is that he's a two-way player, not just one dimension, and that's important because, you know, that's how Coach Aldin likes his guards, too. And uh, Deshaun is now standing by with Ms. Bea. Yes, congratulations, Shawnee Winston. You're now with the Converge Fiber Xers. Now, let me just ask, how excited are you to finally be drafted here in the PBA? Uh, I'm super excited to finally be drafted. Um, I'm thankful to be drafted and to hear my name called. I'm sure you have a lot of people to thank and greet, so please do go ahead. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents that came out and supported me and everybody at De La Salle. So um, I, I just got to thank all the fans and everybody that came out here. You mentioned your parents, and I believe your parents are now with Hans. That is right, Bea. I am with the parents of Shawnee, Mr. Lorian, and Miss Carla. You guys must be so proud of Shawnee. So what is it about him that made him have this great basketball career now that he's part of the PBA? Well, you know... He's been playing this game for a long time as a kid, and we sort of knew way back that 
uh, the PBA might be an option uh, playing in the Philippines, and he was excited about it. So we just moved on it, and here we are. Okay, what about you, ma'am? Any messages to Sean? Well, we love you. We're so proud of you. Um, this has been a long journey, and this is your dream, and you're here. So we all love you, and we're all proud of you. There you go. Now we turn it over to Judd. Balikan na natin ang Converge Fiber Xers for the 10th overall pick. For its 10th pick, the Converge Fiber Xers select BJ Andrade. BJ Andrade being called by his former teammate. BJ, the 10th overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Drafts Season 48. He goes to the Converge Fiber Xers. Cards for the video by Coach Alvin Ayo Andrade, a former Ateneo Blue Eagle, six foot one, and he will be joining that fold once again of a squad that needs guards that plays both ways. And can I just say I had a chance to work with BJ in a short stint before he got hurt. Obviously, he's still recovering from a knee injury, but this kid can play. He's one of the hardest workers. He's a leader. He's so vocal, one of the smartest players, and he can also shoot the lights out. So he's a legit PBA shooting guard, and I think he'll be a big addition to the Converge team. I think uh, itong si BJ Andrade super smart, mataas ang basketball IQ, I'm sure. Uh, kailangan ni Coach Alden ng uh, players that could really uh, lead. At ito nga itong si BJ Andrade has the confidence also to shoot. And uh, knowing Coach Alden, he gives a lot of confidence to his players. So I'm so excited. Uh, pag ready na itong si BJ Andrade. We see on that stage somebody you're very familiar with, Coach Raiko. Yeah, he's out there helping converge too. <laughs> there you go. So. It should be interesting the way those practices will roll along once they start getting ready. Let's hear the thoughts from BJ himself with Ms. Bea. BJ Andrade, our 10th overall pick for the Converge Fiber Xers. Congratulations, BJ. I'm seeing your face. You're still in shock. What is running through your mind right now? I'm just angry because I didn't expect that I'm going to get a team because I'm injured. And I'm just excited to get to play. How excited are you na makakalaban mo na ang pinsan mo na si Sean Ildefonso? Uh, mukhang kailangan ko na po magpalaki ng katawan para matapatan ko po si Sean. And uh, very excited naman po. Alright, congratulations to you BJ. Now let's turn it over to Hans. Thank you so much, Bea. I'm with the relatives of BJ. I'm with Miss Belinda Ildefonso. And of course, syempre hindi naman bago mo ha, Sir Danny Ildefonso. Let's start from you, Miss Belinda. How important is this achievement for you as a mom? As a mom, oh my God, I cannot say anything. I just fly from Hong Kong to here last night just to see my son here. I'm so happy and oh my God, I cannot say anything. Great, congratulations. What about you, Sir Danny? Um, how have you supported BJ in, you know, helping him grow in his basketball career? And I'm sure you've been a big part of that. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank God, diba? Kasi it's answered prayer for us. And second is uh, thank you for the Converge uh, uh, management and uh, Boss Dennis, Boss Frank, and Jacob, and Boss Delta, and Gob Archen, and all the coaching staff. So, and thank you. And for sure, siyempre, uh, talagang, kasi since grade 5 na sa akin na si DJ. So naka sa akin nakatira. Then, yun. Basta, pinush ko lang na ipinush. Katulad ni Sean and Dave. So yun, nag-response naman. And, yun. Andito na siya ngayon. <laughs> right. There you have it. Now I turn it over to Judd. DJ Andrade joining the Converge Fiber Xers. Kasama ang kanyang tito. Lakay Dani Ay. Now we move forward with the 11th overall pick. 11th pick in the first round will be made by the Northport Batang Pier. Hello, hello. hello. Northport select Cade Flores. Cade Flores goes to the Northport Batang Pier as the 11th overall pick of the PBA Gatorade Season 48 draft. A six foot five forward out of the Arellano University, 
Yeah, this is Cade Flores. Uh, traces his roots to Australia as well. Marami tayong ano, ah, galing Oceania in this draft. Talking about itong si Cade Flores, I'm sure one of the biggest factor dito eh, nakalaban ito ni Coach Bonnie uh, when he used to coach Letran. And I'm, I'm sure na nakita niya doon yung potential ni Cade Flores. And he's really a bruiser. You know, we talk about the, these players coming from Australia, New Zealand. They really embrace physicality. They're the ones who really bring it on the table. And that's what we need here in the PBA. I can't can't agree with you more, Coach Topex. You know, Kate Flores, really, really hard worker, doesn't complain. Great motor, also, a really good rebounder, tough, physical, you know, can defend well. And you know, I'm sure that's why Coach Boni, as you said, very familiar with his game, uh, decided to add him because, you know, Northport, you could, uh, not just Northport, any PBA team could always use big men, big physical guys who can rebound. Yung unang pinili ng Northport was Xavier Lucero. We all know we're going to have to wait for him to get healthy enough to perform on the stage. But Kate Flores, he's ready to go right now. Huh? Yeah, it's really somebody who's really going to bring a lot of energy. Uh, he has the leadership in him when he used to lead Arellano during the NCAA. So we know what he could really bring on the table. And right now, he is standing by with Bea. Kate, congratulations for the PBA fans watching you right now. What can they expect from you to bring for the Northport Batang Pier? Um, my usual game, my hustle, my rebounds, my uh, consistent defense I play every game. Um, I just like to bring the energy to the team. I'm sure you have a lot of people to thank, so please do go ahead. Yeah, um, all my family and friends in Sydney and my family in uh, Negros and Manila, I'd like to thank uh, everybody that supported me through my journey. Yeah. Thank you so much and congratulations to you, Cade. Now let's turn it over to Judd. Thank you, Bea. We are now proceeding to the 12th pick, also the final pick in the first round of this draft. We started this round with the Terra Firma Jeep, and we are also closing the first round with the 12th pick to be made by Terra Firma. For the 12th pick, the Terra Firma Jeep selects Taylor Miller. TJ Miller goes to the Terra Firma Jeep as the 12th pick of the PBA Gatorade Draft Season 48. Taylor James Miller, a 6'2 guard out of Las Vegas, played at the Westminster University. And this is already going to be the second pick for the Terra Firma. They'll be picking first again in the second round. But let's talk about the last pick of the first round. Yeah, Taylor Miller is a two-way player. He's a guard who could shoot well from the outside. He's a good defender. And I'm sure that's one of the things that uh, the coaching staff of uh, Terra Firma Jeep is looking for. That's why they got somebody who's not even here right now. But the trust that they have on Taylor Miller shows the talent that he could bring here in the PBA. I'm sure they scouted him well. You know, it's maybe you could say a sleeper pick, to be honest. I'm not sure a lot of people would have expected this, but you get a 6-2 guard. That's a good size to play in the PBA level. And you know, if he's as good as Coach Topek says, then that's a good pick for Terra Firma. So, nakadalawa po ang Terra Firma dito sa ating first round. They'll be starting again. Come the second round of action, but right now, for 12 lucky applicants, it just became real for them. Naka first round na po tayo ng ating PBA draft, but there's 112 more waiting for their names to be called dito sa loob ng Ayala Mall's Market Market.